Oops, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name's Peter Hellier. Just finding another cure for some fictitious virus. Uh, on the way into work this morning, I was listening to some radio, some AM talkback radio, and there was a man in his 70s, his name was Tom. He was a great Australian. He was complaining that kids have it too easy these days, that they're, they're soft, uh, that they need to harden up, they're mollycoddled. Of course, mollycoddled is a funny word, but Tom might have a point. I mean, he was saying when he was a kid, he would eat whatever was put in front of him. Dirt, sticks, grass for his birthday. But kids these days, they're always complaining. I can't eat that. I'm allergic to it. I might have a reaction. I might have to go to hospital. Harden up, kids. Okay? Molly coddled. Good on you, Tom. Does anyone know how this works? The most important piece of information we have is that anaphylaxis has increased fivefold over the last 15 to 20 years. Most importantly, young children and infants seem to have increasing rates of food-induced anaphylaxis. If not properly treated, unfortunately, some kids can die if they eat a food that everyone else can eat. That's pretty frightening for parents and really frightening for families and carers of kids with food allergies. Our waiting list for seeing an allergist around Australia are more than 12 months. And we do know that food allergies didn't exist 30 to 40 years ago. For the most part, kids with food allergies can live a safe and healthy life by simply avoiding the food that they're allergic to. So we need to respect what children can and can't eat because they, their parents and their doctors are the ones that know which foods that are most dangerous to that particular child. How do you adjust the volume? Molly cold. Funny word. Anyway, more cures await.